Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Uh, today I will guide you through the interface of Stata. I will show you how to use the browser and I will show you why you should not use the editor. If you open Stata, you see on the left hand side a big box here, which I call the command history. Whenever you type a command and you hit enter, the command you typed will be entered to the list on the left hand side. Uh, this is uh, somewhat useful, I do find it useful sometimes, uh, because you can see what you just, uh, what you did through the course of your work. This down here is the heart of Stata, it's the command box. It's where you type things and it's where you tell Stata what you want the program to do. Up here is the output window. Uh, when you type commands down here, uh, for instance you tell Stata to uh, compute the mean of a variable, all the output will be shown up here. So input, output. On the right hand side, uh, this is a useful little window. It will list all the variables that you have currently loaded. So the way it works with data, you just uh, you you can have one data set in memory at a time, and uh, when you load this data set into the memory, it will show you here a list of the variables, and it will show you the variable labels if you have labels in your data. Uh, down here, this is also pretty useful, especially uh, this window shows you the number of observations and variables and it also shows you the size of the data set. Another thing, you can actually change all the sizes of all the windows so to make it really fit um, to have it the way you like it. One quick comment on these things up here. Uh, in about 10 years of working with Stata on an almost daily basis, I've actually never used these things. I'm sure you can do useful stuff like, for instance, graphics using these commands. But honestly, I'd rather just uh, learn how to write the code uh, and then just uh, to, to use the, the code to do this stuff. So all this stuff is... Um, it, anyway, like if you go and describe data uh, or something like if you say you want to compute a mean or anything like that, all it does, it basically, it's like Stata for dummies, so it just translates uh, these things into actual Stata code. So it's much more helpful to actually know the Stata code and it's also faster in the end. Okay, that's it. So now we will actually load our first uh, data set into Stata and we use the automobile data that comes with each uh, Stata installation. So you don't have to uh, download this data anywhere. You can just, if you have Stata installed, you have this data also. So just open the data set by typing sysuse auto. Hit enter. Okay, we see a lot of stuff has changed on the screen. So here, the command that we just entered is listed here now. That's the first thing we see. Uh, here it tells us we opened a file that contains automobile data from 1978. On the right hand side we see uh, which variables are in this data set and they're even neatly labeled. So we see for instance that price means price, MPG means mileage, etc. Um, when you work with the variables, you always need the variable name. So the label you have to think of is like a, a nice added label to this variable. So this is the this stuff is recognized by Stata, the variable name. The label is not recognized by Stata in the commands. Uh, what's also useful, this window on the bottom right shows us that there are 74 observations and 12 variables. Those are these 12 variables here, so they go from make, and the last one is called foreign, and this foreign shows you the car type. Okay, so this can be helpful to just get a quick overview to know if you're dealing with uh, 500 million observations or just 74. And this also shows us the size, I think it means this uh, file is 3 megabyte size, but I'm not sure. Okay. <coughs> So now uh, I'm going to show you the browser. 
So the way the browser works, uh, it looks a bit like Excel. First of all, why do we need the browser? So let's say we want to just have a quick look at this data set, especially since it's not very big, it's only 74 observations. So let's have a look at what the data actually looks like. We type browse, we hit enter, and this new window opens here, and we get to look at the data. Beautiful. So we have 74 different cars here with a different make, different price, different mileage, this is the repair record. That's the nice thing about labels. If you have no clue what something is, uh, you can just simply look at the label. So for instance, uh, displacement. What could it be? Displacement, it means <coughs> displacement. Okay, so that's something technical about the car. Or it just shows you the gear ratio, things like that. Uh, so what's good about the browser? The best thing about the browser is you get to look at the data but there's no danger of accidentally overwriting the data. So if I if I type something which I'm doing right now, you will see that nothing actually happens here. Okay, the data is not changed. And this is good because usually I if I manipulate the data, I want to do it in a controlled way and uh, I don't want to accidentally just hit the button and then overwrite some value. So let's go back to the Stata window. That was it for the browser, I use it quite a lot. The last thing I want to show you is the editor and I also want to show you why you should not use it. So to open the editor you just type edit, you hit enter. Now we've been in browser mode so it asks if we want to change to editor mode and we say yes. So the window looks exactly the same as before except that up here it now says edit before it said browser. And um, yeah, I mean, it, the data looks the same. When I started off with data, I didn't know about the browse command. I only knew the editor command. So I would always open this file and then look at the data. But actually, it's a bit risky because, for instance, let's say I accidentally hit some buttons and then enter, or I hit some buttons and then the arrow key, uh, I just actually overwrote something. Okay? So. Uh, that's why you should not really use this editor. I cannot think of uh, any time you would like to use that. Um, Stata is not not like Excel where you actually often type in the data. So Stata is not really for storing data when you are the guy inputting or the lady inputting the data. But um, Stata is more for opening data sets and then working from there. But um, yeah, you usually don't use the editor command. Okay, and there's a little bonus thing in the very end. I'd like to show you a little trick that you might not know yet, especially if you're watching these basic videos. Um, if you hit the page up button, I hit it multiple times now, uh, what happens, it just scrolls through these commands on the left, okay? So it starts, and then I can use page down to go down. It starts with CC's auto browse, edit, and then these replacements, which I made to show you that the editor is uh, can be dangerous. Okay, that's it for today. Please, guys, the goal of uh, this channel is actually to be educating about Stata, and I want to make everything interactive, else I get bored. So if you have any questions below that are Stata relevant, just let me know, just shoot, describe the question, ask about areas where you'd like to improve in Stata, and um, leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to my channel. It's a very new channel, so you might have the honor of being the first person to subscribe. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you learned something, and see you soon.